What age do you now think we are in? Okay. So, so the winning vote was information age, technological, digital, etc. And there it is. And therefore, in that age, we think information, which is fine. We're in the information age, we think information, or we think technological. But we're not in it. The planet thinks we're in the information age, and we are not. Therefore, if we think informationally, we think incorrectly. The information age gave the world perhaps the greatest problem the planet has ever had. It caused the greatest stress. What was the big problem that information gave us? Yeah, the overload. Right. Information overload. And technologists in the information age did the same thing. How many of you have ever suffered from PowerPoint death. <laughs> and what happens in the information age? The individual thinks, wow, I've got all this information. And you all want information. So here it is, blah. And you get it all technologically. And your brain gets overloaded. So it's not the age we are in. And we have to think about where we are. The knowledge age. That was the new age. The development of knowledge management, knowledge managers, directors of knowledge management. And in Singapore, a couple of years ago, directors of knowledge management said it doesn't work. And why didn't it work? Because there's something far more important to manage than knowledge. What do we have to manage in knowledge? Manage. What is more important to manage than knowledge? If it was a time, concept, money. <laughs> the main thing that needs to be managed is not knowledge. It's the manager of knowledge. We have to manage the manager of knowledge. And what is the manager of knowledge? The brain. The brain. And that is the age we are now evolving in. It's a new age. And it's the age of the tools that the brain uses. And that is its intelligence. It's multiple intelligences. So we are now in the age of intelligence. That's what we are in. And in that age, we will think, how? Ladies and gentlemen, that was not a tough question. <laughs> in the agricultural age, we think agriculturally. In the industrial age, we think industrially. In the information age, we think informationally. In the knowledge age, we think knowledgeably. In this age, the human race will be begin to think how? <laughs> Intelligently. <laughs> At last, <laughs> the race will think about everything intelligently about agriculture and industry intelligently, about information and technology intelligently, about knowledge intelligently, and about the brain, and about people, and about creativity intelligently. Intelligently. Is that a more enjoyable future? That's the future we are in. And I have one minute to give you the remaining 40 minutes of my lecture. So I'm just going to whip through and give you a conclusion. Just some of the intelligence information. The time we are in is in the age of the management of the manager of knowledge. That's the brain. That's your children. That's you. That's the future. Creativity survey in Mexico actually done in the United States as well. 
children tested on creativity. And they were asked, to divide into two groups, to think of the number of uses for paper clip, or the number of uses for elastic band. Look at what happens at the beginning of the age of intelligence when a lady, Jenkins, does this study for her Master of Science degree. That's the number of ideas in 10 minutes that the children generated ideas. Same child, number seven. Next, second test after an hour, elastic band, how many uses for elastic band? Same kind of number. Uses of paper clips, six. So all the children in the first test, in the hour later test, same result, same style. This is how they did it. Second test. Young child learns in an hour about the generative idea of thinking. Same child, seven ideas, 45 ideas. In one hour, the difference. That, to me, changed my life when I saw the results. This one, the worst child in the first test. And as he was doing this in 10 minutes, he said aloud to himself, I am not creative. I am not creative. I am not creative. That was the same child one hour later, in 10 minutes. Elastic band. What did he do with the elastic band in the beginning, in the middle? That's a body. He created it into a body. What are those two at the bottom here? What are those two little round circles? What are those? His feet. And his little hands on the left and right. From four ideas to 22. Five times plus better, he didn't get any marks extra for the image. And he didn't get any extra marks for his little symbols around him. And what's at the top of his little body? His smiling, happy face. Who is that a portrait of? Him. So the same little boy who said, I'm not creative. I'm not creative. Four linear monotonic ideas in the test, doing the best he could, with all the misinformation that he was given until he was nine years old. One hour, complete transformation, and that's him. And at the end of it, he finished it, and he looked up at Mrs. Jenkins, the scientist, and he said, I'm a genius. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, he was and is a genius. And that's what the future holds and lies. And all kinds of misconceptions are being blown out. And I'll just end on giving you a little memory test because in London University, they actually worked out that the human brain would never be able to remember a spoken number of 30 digits or more. No one ever able to do that. And they did a simple experiment, which we now do, to test your memory. I'll give you a number. You try to remember it and see if you can. Remember, 30, impossible. Never to be done in the future. First test. First number. Three, five, 
Okay, that's the number. Anybody remember that? Well done. Easy or difficult? Easy. easy. And you're already smiling and laughing about it. Laughably easy. Two digits. Erase. Next number. Five, two, zero, four, nine. Okay, that's that one. How many remember that? Hold on, five digits. Easy or difficult? Yeah, everybody says easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Erase next number. Seven. Three, eight, two, one, zero, nine. Okay, that's that one. How many remember that? Okay, so most of you. Easy or difficult? Mm, difficult. <laughs> that was seven digits, which is where most memories begin to fracture. <coughs> Were those tests getting linearly more difficult or exponentially more difficult? Exponentially. Now you realize why 30 is impossible. Impossible. As you're about to experience. Erase the others. Memorize this. Six, four, nine, six, one, Six, two, eight, four, seven, five, nine, eight, zero. How many remember that? <laughs> zero. And that was only fourteen. And by the time I got to ten, most of you were smiling and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the faces kind of clinging on. I can do that in the numbers. In the Open Championships two weeks ago in London, a combat with grandmasters, etc., from around the world, there were two individuals who were icons of disaster. There was a lady by the name of Katie who was quite pregnant. And the world knows that pregnant women have quote unquote mushy memories. Mushy memories. Having a child the memory just disintegrates. The other people who degenerate are older. <coughs> Older people, how many of you have found that as you're getting older, your memory gets a bit wobbly? Yeah, and creativity, as we know, is supposed to go down. So there was a 55 year old man who completed as well. And amazingly, at the end of the competition, the two leaders going into the finals were the pregnant lady and the 55 year old man. And the pregnant lady had a spoken number, and the old man had a spoken number, and each one of them memorized a 100 digit long number perfectly. Perfect. <coughs> Under pressure. So the experiment dismissed the false mythology. The lady who is pregnant has a phenomenal memory. The older individual has an improving memory if it is trained. If it is trained. And the pregnant woman has the capacity to remember everything that is important to her. And what is important? The child. It's the child that is important. And the mum can remember everything about it. 
the details in a given day. The first word that the child says. Because the brain focuses on the most important thing on the planet. And the most important thing is the future. And the baby is the future of the planet. So your memories, ladies and gentlemen, whether you or friends are going to be pregnant, you're all getting older, your memory and your connected creativity will improve. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the very beginning of lots of information that says that your future, our future, the world's future is very positive, very optimistic when we focus on and allow to flower creativity and the brain. Ladies and gentlemen.